Hello everybody, welcome back to Winter Work on the Boat. I'm Brad Arrington, uh, and today I'm continuing to work on repairing the dash panels on my Back Cove 37. Uh, and I was having a little bit of difficulty getting those panels off. Uh, so today I've brought some reinforcements uh, in the form of Crowbar 1 and Crowbar 2. And so I'll be trying a little bit of brute strength today, but also maybe a little bit of finesse with some other tools as well. As well. So uh, let's get started. To recap where we left off, at the end of part one, I had taken off this piece of uh, trim that was glued down here with some adhesive, uh, and I've done a little bit of work to get this panel off to loosen up the, the material here. Uh, I may need to remove uh, this piece of trim here because of the angle uh, to remove these bungs. Uh, but this piece doesn't have uh, any trim here, uh, but it's very tight against um, the uh, this counter here. So I may have to uh, take my multi-tool and just cut a very thin kerf along here to get this loose. So uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I've already got the panel partially pulled up from last time, but this time I'm using the crowbar to gently pry it up using the spackle knife to protect the counter below. That went much quicker than I had ever hoped it would. Uh, so what I had done before I knocked off last time was I drilled a series of small holes uh, in the board here. Uh, and then I took my um, glue debonder and I sprayed a little bit in each hole uh, so that the debonding would get into the underlying silicon and loosen it up. And feeling this, it feels um, kind of soft. So I think that really did the trick uh, to loosen up that material. And this board has now uh, come off. And if I pull back, you can see how much glue is in there. Um, so that plus uh, carefully prying up with my pry bar seems to have really done the trick. Uh, so now I get to turn my attention over to this side where uh, I haven't yet put any debonding material in there, and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to use a similar technique with the crowbar on this side, gently prying up to break the bonds of the silicone adhesive be between the dashboard and the wood. As I work down along the trim, I use that spackle knife as a lever uh, to protect the trim from the crowbar. And you can see here how I use a shim to hold up that wood panel so that I can get my crowbar beneath and then work my way down the side using that putty knife to protect the trim. Success! Panel 2 is off for the uh, for the starboard side. This came off uh, much more easily than I thought it would. You know, uh, it's great when you have the right tools and a good approach. So using, uh, again, that pry bar under here uh, to, to pop it off worked really well. Um, so it's important that it, if you end up replacing these panels that you, um, you, I, I didn't want to just rip them up and, and, uh, destroy them because I need to use these as a template for the new panel. Um, cause every one of these boats is handcrafted and the dimensions up here from here to here, uh, are a little bit different. So I need to use these panels to, uh, to, to trim the, the new ones that I'm getting. And while uh, I've got this opened up, I wanted to take a look and try to see where uh, the water was actually coming in that damaged uh, this panel so badly. So I think partly where it was coming in uh, is in this corner in here. We can see the water stains in here. So I don't know if it was coming from uh, back under here and flowing in here or coming uh, down in here and hitting the panel but certainly there's evidence of some moisture in there. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna see if I can't seal in this joint a little bit as well. Um, I can see some material in here, some, some sealant um, with this joint from the pilot house. So I'm gonna see if I can't uh, perhaps do a little bit better job sealing in there. It's probably gonna be a little difficult because of uh, the, these two parts are pretty close, but we'll see what I can do. Now it's time to remove the excess silicone adhesive from the dashboards. I use my putty knife to scrape up the bulk of it and try to get a nice clean surface to remove the remainder with the debond. We'll move over to the starboard side and do the same 
using the putty knife to scrape up the big bits. Now we'll come back with the debond spray to wipe it down and remove all the remaining adhesive so we have a good surface for the new panels to attach to the dashboard. We'll wipe up all the adhesive across the top, which was a little bit different material, and then do a final spray down on the port side panels as well. Well, this is looking pretty good now. Uh, I just finished wiping down the surfaces with the debond to remove the silicone. Uh, everything looks pretty nice and clean here. Got it all up here. Uh, got everything off up here. Uh, so the last step uh, we're going to need to do before uh, we fit in the new panels is spray these down with a little bit of alcohol. Uh, and what the alcohol is going to do, according to uh, debond, is that will neutralize the debonding uh, chemical so that uh, any new adhesive will will fit on here and uh, and not be effective by uh, by the debon. So we'll do that, and then next step is going to be to get the panels and start fitting them in. Until next time, happy boating.